Hi, my name is Emma, and you're watching Chicken Judge Logs. I'm sorry, Chicken Judge. I love Diesel more than you. Bye. <laughs> That was my favorite intro yet, man. Can we use that one every day? That was, I like her. I, I love you too, Emma. The weasel loves you. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. That was awesome. Good morning, everybody. We're gonna jump right into it. Here we go. At the rest area in Menominee, Wisconsin. This is where we slept. We're just getting our day going. I've got about an hour and a half to go down the road to uh, close to Black River Falls, Wisconsin, where I have a 10.30 a.m. appointment. An hour and a half away, we have about an hour and 45 minutes to get there. Goody. It's gonna be a little tight, but we can do it. We'll just have our breakfast after. Hopefully I don't get too hangry. Weasel my way onto the freeway here and our day will begin. So I slept all right tonight, slept good. It's never long enough. I'm ready for a new day. Just arriving here to the customer. Bang on time. Pull in here, and I believe I just gotta pull up to this little, a little waiting area here, and they come out and say hello to me. And then I don't have a reload yet. I had a reload, but it got canceled on me too sure what they're gonna get me to do here after this. Let's get this unloaded first then we'll worry about that. We're here at this quick trip. A quick trip. I've never been at this specific one before. Uh, but they got a delicious Denny's inside there. Well, the Denny's itself, the restaurant isn't, but the food they have there is delicious. I've been here for four hours now. Uh, my reload, like I was telling you earlier today, got canceled or fell through or whatever you want to call it. So that was sad. But we got a new load now that's taking us back to our yard up in Manitoba. I gotta go pick it up in Wilmore, Minnesota. I'm not too sure what it is yet. All I know, I don't have the info sent to me yet. All I know is I gotta head towards Wilmore and they got a nice quick trip as well there, truck stop that I'm gonna stop at for the night and then load up tomorrow. Apparently I have to tarp it and then I have to leave it tarped in the yard because it only needs to deliver on like next Thursday. So somebody else is gonna get my tarps and have to bring them back to me and I'm gonna head out on a different load with someone else's tarps. We're gonna be playing musical tarps again and hopefully at the end of this whole month, I end up with my tarps, or better tarps. So we have, what, 401 kilometers to go. That would be 280 miles, give or take a few. So we're taking her easy, we're loading up there tomorrow morning. 
But I got my message that came through to me now that I pulled onto the road. Almost as soon as I got on the interstate, the message came through with all the information. And now I can't read it until I stop. It doesn't let me. I can push the button, it'll read it out to me. Like, it'll speak it to me. But it's not the same. I gotta pull over here, up ahead here, and look at, look at what it says. At least it's taking me straight back home. I mean, I don't, I don't even know if I'll be able to go home or not. I'll be home tomorrow night, so I'm guessing I'll probably go home for the night. Uh, I don't know. It depends what they have, because I told them I'm ready to keep going. And this is a really short trip. I'll just go right back out again. He said he had a plan. I wonder what the plan is. They never tell me what the plan is. <laughs> That's not true. They usually do. Just this time, he's being very suspicious. I mean, what's the plan? Was that? Why don't you want to tell me? The plan, original plan, was for me to pick up that load today and take it back to the yard. The other one that got cancelled. So now there's a new plan. Or I wonder if it's the same plan. It's just this is a different load getting me back there. They probably have a load in the yard that needs to be delivered. Somewhere else. And that's why they're trying to get me back there. So that I can hook onto that and take it to somewhere. I'll just have to wait and find out. Oh, the suspense. I can hardly contain myself. The best part about this job, though, is every day, every trip is different. It's always an adventure. I love coming down here to the U.S., though. Oh, I feel so at home in the U.S. Much more at home here than I do, well, in some parts of, a lot of parts of Canada. Some parts of Canada I'll, I'll go through and it doesn't feel like home at all. It's just... I like my little corner of the country. I hope it stays exactly the same. Because everything else is changing, right? Stopped here at the next rest area and got all the information. Looks like the pickup is going to be pretty much right next to the truck stop that I'm planning on staying the night at. So that works perfect. Let's see if we can get ourselves back on the highway. We are empty. I have an empty flatbed behind me right now. It's a 53 foot flatbed. So it's longer than some that you see on the roads. It's the longest one you can have. I mean, in Canada, you can haul two 53-foot trailers behind you, but I don't think you can do that in everywhere in the US. I mean, you can't do that everywhere in Canada either, for obvious reasons. That's a really long unit. <laughs> picking up looks like it's going to be about 15 feet long, 7 point, no, 7 foot 3 wide, and 11 feet high. All together with the trailer. So I'm hoping we got a fancy little tarping station there like the last one did last week. That was awesome. I wish I could have filmed that. They didn't allow any filming there. They're very strict about it too. That was so cool. I explained it in last week's vlogs. I just, they, they, they unrolled my tarps for me and a machine tarped my load for me. The machine did it for me and it, it did it in less than five minutes and then it took me another 15 just to bungee it down. 20 minutes. The whole load was tarped, ready to go. Usually takes like two hours. That was very impressive. Minnesota takes us directly through the city of St. Paul and Minneapolis. Usually we would go around, but I checked traffic times and traffic density right now, or not traffic density, traffic, uh, what do we call it, congestion on Google, and it looks like we should be good going through the city with minimal, minimal delays, which I think means we'll get to pass right by both downtowns. 
Here's downtown St. Paul. I still haven't seen that building I'm thinking of, so maybe it's near Minneapolis. It's around here somewhere. Seriously, it looks like it's put together with sheet metal. Like all different colors and it's all rusted. Like, I've seen some old buildings that uh, aren't exactly in great shape in my time. But this is something special. This looks like it's going to collapse on itself. There's that building right there, that tall one. That's the one I'm talking about. You see it? It's all different colors and everything. It's so weird and it's really tall too, right? But maybe it looks better up close. I mean, I've actually never actually gone right up close to it. The locals around here would know better. I'm not from here. This is the closest major U.S. city to where I live, though. Continue 3.2 kilometers, then take exit 231A on right to I-394 West. Uh, 231, this is going to be 238. Okay, do I, am, is this an exit only lane then? No. The right lane there is an exit only lane, right? I have no idea. right here. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna pull in here and... Oh yeah, it's just on the other side of this big building. And I Your destination is on the right. think that there is a street I can park on right behind the building, just off to the left here. It's a, kind of ironic, it's a gym and a liquor store in one. Looks like there's plenty of spots available for us. That's good. The only bad thing is that it's raining. Crazy. Which is good because it's okay because I sleep indoors, you know, but I gotta walk the weasel. I don't wanna get wet. Ugh, oh, oh well. What can you do? I'm gonna back into this spot here. and We'll just get it over with. We'll just do it quick. Well, not gonna lie, that kind of sucked. That took way longer than it should have. There's a very strong wind coming at me from my driver's side here. And uh, <laughs> I couldn't open my window because if I did, the wind would come rushing in here with all the pouring rain and it just soaked me. So I had to keep this window closed, but I couldn't see through it because the water running down it and my mirror was all covered in water. I could open that window, but that mirror was all covered with water. So I had no idea where I was backing. I was lucky I have like an empty spot on both sides of me here. So I had lots of room, it took forever and I got all wet. Oh, terrible end to the day. Now I gotta go out there yet and walk the weasel. Diesel, you think you can just hold it till the morning? Huh? What do you say? No? Okay, 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 I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go out there and get soaked down to the bone. 
and uh, call it a night. Ten hours from now, we'll be loading just around the corner. Hopefully, the rain will be gone by then. Let's actually check that out right now. Let's check this out. Okay, Google. What's the weather going to be around here in the morning? Tomorrow morning in Wilmar, it'll be 9 degrees with rain. <laughs> Precipitation 100%. It says don't forget your raincoat. <laughs> oh. That means I'm loading, securing, and tarping this load in the rain tomorrow. I hope we can tarp it inside. I hope they have an indoor facility. <laughs> that, that's terrible. Ter terrible. Just terrible. 100% chance of precipitation. 100% chance. Not even a slight chance of sunshine or no rain. 100% chance rain. Thanks, Google, for uh, depressing me again. Every time you go on Google and ask it a question, it gives you a depressing answer. You ever notice that? You know, next time you have like a small pain in a part of your body somewhere, whether it's your foot, your leg, your arm. Thanks for sharing this with me. What? <laughs> She's saying sorry for depressing me. You're creepy, Google. Hey, Google. You're creepy. Let's talk about something else. Well, what do you want to talk about? You could ask me what kind of music I like. What kind of music do you like, Google? I have a thing for traditional French-Canadian music, especially the songs with wooden spoons. What's your favorite singer? I like it when whales sing. Birds are pretty talented singers, too. How'd you know what I was going to ask you? You have strange tastes in music. I found this on the web. Did you? Oh. Are you saying you like Canadian music just because I'm Canadian? Here's a matching video. That didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question, Google. Sorry about that. If you ask another way, I can try again. Nope, you lost your chance. Nope, you lost your chance, Google. My apologies. I don't understand. That's because you're not very smart, Google. Are you saying I'm one coffee bean short of a cappuccino? I can't argue with that. Well, I can't argue with that either if you're just going to admit it. Fine. Fine. For that, you'll need to unlock your phone. What? Why? I'm getting out of here. That's weird. Arguing with my phone. I really do need a life.